How many of those things are here? Something in storage that we need, right? I can't move those rocks. Thought maybe that was gonna be another tunnel or something I could open up and use. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. So crouching, by the way. Very poor condition, huh? Needs to be weakened further. Probably with the acid. Maybe a hand drill. And I doubt that'll work. Didn't think so. Why do I still have that hollow needle? I had that hollow needle for quite some time. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's Who too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. So that little girl knew... Gabriel? He escaped. Where is he now? A tinderbox. God damn asshole enemies. Being annoying, blocking my path. I've seen them. It's not like we're on a castle wall or anything, they're not battlements. I'm trying to remember which way we came from. in this place. Stairs? Where the hell? I made it all the way back here. How did I, How did I get turned around? What does that sign say? Cell area three. We were going towards storage initially. Storage. Oh no. 3rd of August, 1839. 
I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Siehst du, Arthur? No, but it's a guy right there. Sanding. Dot dot dot. I don't know what that means. You're probably running low on oil. <laughs> Just walk away. Walk away, guy. Walk away. Thing. It. Creature? I don't know. So I walked to the left, didn't I? It was just for some resources then? Holy crap, Sandy, come back already. Still dot dot dot. well-lit room. If only I could see anything and not be blurred. Last well, jar. Sure. That might be for the acid. Come on, Sandy. Is it like my health low? No, just. It's Sandy bit of this game so very much. I hate the motion blur. Specifically, it's associated with it. Sanity doesn't go all derp derp on me. Why do I have a message on it from JTV? I'm gonna take a quick look at that. Oh, you go. You're hosting me. Thank you. It's much appreciated. 
I, I, I should get a notification for what someone else may. I, I really should. <laughs> He gone. Can I progress back towards the kitchen, or over this way, perhaps. So the acid's going to be used on the padlocks, and then I should be able to hammer, hammer and uh, oh, oh, wait, what was it called? Chipper? Hammer and chipper at away. Not exactly a chisel. Kitchen. This way. Thank you, signs. Very useful. My sanity. Not so much. Um. Uh, sign. Oh, hey, sanity's fine. Somewhat back to normal. No, this is the bedroom. 4th of August, 1839. With a note. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. I... That last little bit. I, I like the way that was said. Things can be done. Nope. I'm gonna be back in here now. Why would I be able to grab those chains? friend letting someone else walk into a burning building or son perhaps his father went back into a burning building uh, I have completely lost where I needed to go for that kitchen Thank you, sir. If only there was another sign to help me out. Ah, kitchen. 
I'm guessing that's what the glass jar is for anyway. For that acid that we found in the kitchen. There's not an enemy in here, is there? No. Oh, looks like it broke the door. It's probably not the best place to hide, to be honest. I guess we'll find out if this place works or not, though. Please don't find me. Please don't find me. Just walked away. Just walked away. That seems like a stupid thing to do. Yeah, it's a jar holds or the glass jar holds the he has it safely. Thank you, game. I'm also very surprised I didn't die last time I was in here because you know that one guy saw me and uh, chased me all the way in there. I jumped up on boxes, he took a swipe at me, and then I ran right by him, closed the door on his face. I can't believe that actually worked. Probably gonna be one of the few times it probably ever works for me in my favor. Okay, so I think there was a lock in this way, if I remember correctly. Well, it might be down this way, just not down this left-hand path. Yeah, I think that door over there was locked. I'm not sure if he sees me or not right now. He's apparently walked by. Nope, he's right by me. I'm glad I did not light up that torch. Very, very glad I did not light up that torch. This is apparently very blind. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim or something. I'm sneaking in front of your face and you can't see me. What? Why is he still there? Will you walk away already? Okay, he's, he's getting annoying. Stop standing there, guy. Why are you still there? 